If you observe an aircraft closely, you will see that all the aircraft have their wings designed in a particular shape. This shape of the wing is called an aerofoil. Aerofoil shape of the wing is primarily responsible for the lift that an aircraft achieves. Let's learn how does the aerofoil produces the lift. When the wings of the aircraft pass through the air mass, they split the airflow. Air on the upper surface of the aerofoil is guided along the surface and downwards. This is called Coanda effect. This effect can be seen in the video. Due to this, as you see in the video the air along the upper surface moves faster than the air along the lower surface. This difference in the speed causes the difference in the pressure. Low pressure region is created above the aerofoil and high pressure region is created below the aerofoil. This difference in pressure generates the lift. This theory is based on the Bernoulli's principle. Bernoulli's theory also has an equal time hypothesis that has been proven wrong. However, his theory of difference in speed of the air particles on the upper and the lower surfaces is still true. Hence, the pressure difference between the upper and the lower surfaces resulting in the lift is a valid theory. Lift generated by an aerofoil can also be explained using Newton's third law of motion that states, for every action, there is equal and opposite reaction. In this case, the air particles are pushed downwards as the aerofoil moves quickly through air. This is the action. Due to this, the aerofoil is pushed upwards which is lift and pushed backwards which is drag. These are reactions. As a result, the aerofoil lifts off. Now, whose theory is correct when it comes to the working of an aerofoil? Bernoulli's or Newton's. In fact, both theories explain the working of an aerofoil correctly. They are just two different ways of explaining the same phenomenon.